Looks like we have a police advertisement here. The question is, is she a police officer or is she a model? She's a police officer. Gosh, she looks like a model though. Goodness. Here's a new style of vending machine by the Petite Mall Company. And this one, I've never seen this type before where it's got the doors right here on the front and it kind of rotates, I guess, too. So this, these are energy bars for $1.20. And let's go for this yellow one right here. Push the button. Open the sesame. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. And it is right there. The slow bar. Yeah. I know what's inside it. Lots of preservatives. Oh, it's got lots of vitamins. B12. Oh, watch. The machine's going to close. Zzz. So cool. <laughs> That was great. Yep, Yotsuya Station in Tokyo. This is where you can find it. Next up, we have a vending machine that sells soup. Brand new soup, I've never seen this one before. It's the E soup, E for Eric. This is my E for Ebi, shrimp. That's the Japanese word for shrimp, Ebi. Shrimp soup. It's, it's got a thumbs up sticker on it. It says, good, go good. You can pay with your IC card, which is very handy. Cost is a dollar twenty-five. Oh, hot soup! Nice. Ebino biscuit. Huh. Shrimp soup. Okay, well it's pretty cold. I'm gonna have this right now. Let's just get right into it. Come pie. Cheers. Ooh, it's creamy and a little spicy too. Does it taste like shrimp though? It tastes more like tomato soup. Hmm. It's really good though. Tomato soup with a little bit of shrimp flavor perhaps. Hmm. Oh, that is really good. Hot soup from a vending machine. Ooh. That says premium pet food. Really? Looks like a drink vending machine to me. Oh, soup. That is, what is that? Clam soup for a buck. It's a good price. Made for cats and dogs. <laughs> All right, I'm game. <laughs> Just lift up the dog bone flap. <laughs> oh yeah, hot soup. Good stuff. Good stuff. Woohoo! Jackpot. So it's miso soup with clams in it. Huh? That's looking good. Shijimi clams, the small ones, really tiny. Lovely old house, huh? That's probably 50, 60 years old. All right. It is. Cheers to you guys. Hot soup from a vending machine. Miso soup with clams. Oh boy. I can taste the clams. Hmm. It's pretty good. I wonder if there are actually any clams in here, if it's just like the juice from the clams. No clams yet, but the flavor is there, that's for sure. It'd be nice to be able to chew some clams too. I'm going to have to go all the way to the bottom and see if there's clams or not. It's a bit on the watery side. I would prefer it a little more creamy, but hey, from a vending machine for a buck hot soup, it's all right. And the final report is there are no solid clams in here. So a tiny bit disappointing. I've actually had a different variety of this where there were little bits of clams. So yeah, anyway, there it was. Miso soup from a vending machine. Alrighty, we are back at the milk vending machine. Last time I just tried the extra fat milk. This time I'm gonna try some flavored ones. It's a classic machine, it's called Mega Milk. They've got only six different choices. 
it's a retro machine for sure. I'm interested in the the Ichigo, which is strawberry milk. And there's also a fruit milk, but I don't think I'm gonna go there. And the coffee milk. So number three and number six. Those are the ones. Price is a dollar each. Yep. I love my new change purse that I got from a vending machine. This is great. King's treasure box. Yep, I got this in an eco bag for 10 bucks. I think it's worth it. Yep. Fair price. All right, here we go. Number three, Ichigo. Yep. Strawberry milk coming down. Yep. Love it, huh? Comes out of the fridge. That's looking good. I'll have my, my son, I'll try this. My son actually loves strawberry, so I think he'll love this. Yep, Mega Brain 6100. And the coffee number six, that's my number. Yep, Eric Surf is gonna drink the coffee number six. Yep, okay. Absolutely love this machine. Listen to the cooling unit in here, you can hear it, huh? Yep, there it is. Yep. Milk coffee from a vending machine. It just says coffee on here. It's coffee and milk though, I mean obviously, right? If you drink it right here, you can recycle the bottles. But I'm taking it home. We have got new milk. <laughs> The last time we did a video together, you wanted strawberry and I gave you chocolate, right? Right. So here is some strawberry milk for you. There you go. And I'm having the coffee milk. Yes. It's an exciting machine. Milk vending machines are popular in Japan, right? Yeah. Typically they're at the uh, hot spring resorts, but to find them on the street is kind of rare. So I'm gonna shake mine. I don't know if you have to shake it. First time. Have you ever had strawberry milk, like real milk, and not the, you know, stuff that's from a from a vending machine? <laughs> not the stuff that not not like the soft drink kind. Like the, no. this is a real milk company. No, I haven't. Okay, so here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. This is so creamy. How's that? Is it tasty? Yeah. I can smell it. Okay, save some. Don't drink all of that. <laughs> this is really good. It's, yeah, it's like coffee and milk together, but it's got a really nice sort of like, what, mocha taste. It's sweet. It's good. I like it. It's very nice. Okay, so we've got this right here. We've got this energy bar we got to try out that came from that weird machine this morning. It's been in my backpack. Grab a little piece. They're calling it the slow bar. Slow energy release. It's got all kinds of nuts and what? Chocolate chips and stuff. Hurry. Right. Oh, I'm tasting banana. Banana flavor. Oh. Mm, they got bananas on there. Mmm. It's pretty good. Yeah. Some nice flavors. And it looks like that's, yeah, chocolate chips in there. So chocolate chip and banana energy bar. Cookie. It's pretty good. It's fresh. Very good. I like it. Not bad. Next up, we've got a chocolate bar Danish party chocolate bar danish party no that it says pastry not party <laughs> on my channel it's all about the party pastries i don't know but we're gonna test it out so bust off half half is yours so basically there's a chocolate bar inside here let's see if we can show you there it is see there's a chocolate bar inside of the danish okay ready Go for it. Mm. 
A little weird, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they really go together or not. You know? Mm. And the Danish is a little on the dry side. Mm. The chocolate's good. Yeah. But I'm going to give it a nah. Something like this. I don't think they go together well. Yeah. Yeah, it's Danish. too dry. It's too dry. See? Mega called it. That's how dry it is right there. It's definitely, it's not a yuck. It's a, it's a nah. And finally, last but not least, we are going to try once again the Every Burgers because I want Mega, who is my son, by the way, if you guys don't know. There's a lot of old videos of him on my channel where he's like really tiny. Okay, so these are the Every Burgers once again. They've been in the video already, but what we're trying to do is identify the cheese in the every burger what is the cheese so grab one and dissect it right there because i'm not 100 percent sure i mean for sure it's not cheese it's something sweet he's gonna smell it, <laughs> it smells like chocolate yeah because it's on top of chocolate <laughs> okay ready let's give it a go what is the cheese on the Every Burger? Uh, it tastes like icing on a cake. Maybe white chocolate? Oh. Hmm. White chocolate, he might be right. That's a good guess. It's not mayonnaise, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, these things are so good. Problem with these is I can't stop eating them. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, even if you're not hungry, these things. What? You agree? And you don't need any milk to eat these. They're moist. Yeah. Oh, so good. Get in there, you guys. Help yourselves. Get some. Mm, so good. Mm. <laughs> I'd like to try the strawberry milk if that's okay with you. You want to try the coffee? Yeah. It's a really sweet coffee. If you're ever gonna like start to drink coffee, this is a good way to start because it's like really sweet. Ready? It tastes more like chocolate. Wow, I did not think I was going to like this. This is really good. Yeah, it's so good. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Wow. Strawberry milk, who would have thought? That's delicious. The next day. Ooh, what do we have here? Two machines that sell train tickets. You can go long distance on the bullet trains right here. There's also local train tickets. You save 20 yen, 20 cents. I mean, I've never tried one of these, so... Let's give it a go. It's this one right here. Odawara to Hiratsuka. Yeah. Oh, it comes in a box, a card box. How cool. It's all about saving money. There it is. Odawara to Hiratsuka. Vending machine. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, oh, ice machine too. Oh, this is the holy grail of vending machines right here. It's a beer vending machine and a slut vending machine. It's sort of some sort of cocktail. Nuts in a can. I don't think I've ever seen that before. This is a highball, a screwdriver. Whoa, cocktails in a can, gin and tonic. Nice. I think we're gonna go beer though. I'm feeling like beer. Yeah, let's do, let's do one of these big boys. Yep. A little on the pricey side at $4.50, but hey, this is convenience right here. Nuts. Let's go nuts. Let's get this one. Nuts in a can. Ooh, nuts in a can. We're loving that. Yeah, it says hot rice cracker and peanuts. 
Here we are at the infamous 17 ice machine. So many decisions. 17, actually. Which are we going to get? Mmm, swirly. <laughs> what is that one? Caramel and nuts? That looks pretty good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit too blue for me. <laughs> yep. That'll definitely give you a blue tongue. Yep. What else? I got these wafer ones. They change them all the time, too. Caramel is getting very popular in Japan. Yeah. Caramel. Caramel. Mm-hmm. What is that? Raisin butter? Ooh, raisin butter crunch? See, I cannot decide. That's the problem. This is going to take forever. You got a chocolate bar on top of the ice cream. I hate this machine. There's too many choices. All right, already. Okay, I'm going to do this one. This one. The caramel nut crunch something. Yeah, that's the one. Fragrant almond with caramel. Okay, sounds good. Can't go wrong with that. Oh yeah, 17 eyes, baby. Look at this retro vending machine. They sell playing cards, different types of, oh, these are, I've never seen the Sagami playing card company before. I like that high ace brand. I like the sort of, what do you call that, the plaid. Cool, five bucks, a little pricey, but. Playing cards from vending, we've never seen this. I need new cards for my magic. This is cool. Yeah. They're kind of light for cards. They must be, maybe they're mini cards. Huh. Wait a minute, what? They're not cards. What? Oh no. They're, looks like they're balloons. Oh, some kind of balloons. Uh, oh well. Sorry about that. Asahi, super dry. Cheers, guys. That is really refreshing. Yeah. Before I shot this video, I did 90 minutes of hot yoga, so I definitely need some hydration. Beer is hydration, right? Yep. And behind me, this is Odawada Castle right here. Yep, it's a gorgeous castle. It's been rebuilt recently, refurbished. And the real reason I am here is to play Pokemon Go. That's not the real reason. The real reason I'm here is to eat these nuts and this ice cream. Yep, actually, I'm on the way home from a trip, and this was on the way. So this is a first, huh? Nuts in a can. Oh, look at that. So it's a plastic bottle shaped just like a can it's got peanuts and then it's got these the Japanese rice cakes what flavor are they gonna be <laughs> smells like show you oh man it's really crunchy <laughs> Careful, this will take your teeth out. Goodness. Ugh. And there's a bit of spiciness to them too. Mm -hmm. Peanuts are nice and salty. But does it go with the beer? Yes, it does. Yep. So these are actually called otsumami in Japanese, which mean drinking snacks. Mm -hmm. And there's thousands of different types. Thousands. It's probably not an exaggeration to say a thousand. Otsumami is its own category of food in Japan. Mm -hmm. Oh. Just the right amount of crunch, just the right amount of show you, 
just the right amount of peanut saltiness. Hmm. The peanuts are surprisingly fresh. I mean, I got it out of a vending machine. These are really fresh. They're still hoping for the 2020 Olympics postponed, of course, to 2021. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say the 2021 Summer Olympics are not going to happen. I don't think so. Mm -mm. It would be great if they did happen, but logistically, having to test all the people that come over and stuff, it's... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, dessert time. Top woody caramel. That means it's got a lot of caramel on it. Is it caramel or caramel? I'm going to go with caramel today. But if you ask the Japanese, they're going to say caramel. Oh, yeah, starting to melt. This is going to be good. Yeah, extreme close up time. Oh, hurry up. Get in there for a bite, guys, before I do. Yep, the timing is now. Oh my. Oh, this is banging. Mm. <laughs> mm. Let's make sure. Make sure we wipe up the caramel, all of it. And it's really nutty too. I, what are these? Walnuts? They're, they're almonds, fragrant almonds. They're very soft. Perfection in ice cream right there. 17 ice, you nailed it with the fragrant almond and caramel. Nice job. You get the Eric Surf 6 thumbs up of approval. And I don't give those out very often. That's a thumbs up of approval. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? <laughs> it's a vending machine that sells little mini figures. Pikachu, of course. Got to have Pikachu. Oh, look at these. What do you call these things? You never see them anymore. They're, uh, <laughs> they're Koshu Demas. I don't know what the English is. They're not smartphones. What do you even call these things? You find them in phone booths. They're public telephones. That's what they are. Too bad they're sold out. This one, man. I used these in Japan for so long before we had smartphones or before we had any type of portable devices. These were the thing. There it is. I found one. It's a public telephone. Yes. You can put a card in right here, which nobody has anymore, or it takes coins. Yeah. They're rare in Japan. Very rare. Uh-huh. Domestic calls only, I think. Yeah. Huh. You can get an elephant or a bear that's throwing up. That's interesting. That's a cool series. We have here, got a little, we got a gymnast here. Oh, this is cool because you can hang it on a cup. It's functional. She balances on a cup, like while you drink out of it. That's pretty cool. I'm getting kind of hungry though. Anything to do with food? Food. This has got a drink. I'm not interested in that. Oh, this one right here. It's the bread lady. That's the one. But you don't know what you're going to get. It's either this one or this one. So it's 50 50. That's the one I want. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Please be the bread lady, not the wedding lady. 50-50. Oh, we got it. We got it, the bread lady. Oh, yes. Definitely loving this. Yep, she's got nine loaves of bread right there. That looks good, like sweet bread. Yep, that's happening for sure. Very cool. Check it out. We have the Famima stand. Good food and drink. Pringles cheese flavor. Never had those. Of course, the sour cream and onion right there. Mm, hot dogs and energy bars and, uh, you know, the standard candy. Some juice drinks on the bottom. 
donuts up at the top. Donuts and cakes, waffles. So let's go for that one. They, what does it say? Rich milk donut number seven. How much for the Pringles? 130. About a dollar thirty. Pringles cheese, this is a first. What Please do we have here? Oh, some energy bars, chocolate bars, some rice snacks, rice cakes, uh huh, rice crackers. Oh, no way, that's an apple pie. That looks amazing. Gotta get that. And what is that? Some high tr some truffle, truffle? Never seen that. Oh my goodness. Number 55, number 49. All right, let's do this. The local train will arrive shortly. Please stand behind the pay with my IC card. It's in my wallet. Oh, yeah. Give it to me, apple pie. Apple pie. Apple pie. Oh, incoming. One more. Where was I? The truffles, number 55. Oh, this is going to be a treat. Oh, yeah. Yes, and the price for these, what is that? It's only a buck and a half. And the apple pie is about a dollar seventy. Uh huh. Let's do the apple pie first. Oh, it looks amazing. Look at that. So amazing. And it's so sweet. Mm. And the Danish is just amazing as well too. It's flaky, it's soft. Oh. Best thing I've had all day. <laughs> oh my. Best day of my life. <laughs> All right, next up, let's try the truffles. Oh, they're individually packaged. Okay, that'll work. Let's open them up. Looks pretty good. Definitely looking good. Oh. That's some quality chocolate there. Dark chocolate. It's creamy. It's got powdering on the outside. This is good. This is really good. We gotta do another one of these. Yeah. I like the chocolate powder on the outside of the mocha, whatever it is. Cocoa. I don't eat sweets often, but when I do, I thoroughly enjoy them. And that's the secret. You don't eat sweets often, and when you do, they're amazing. If you eat them all the time, you're going down like a slippery slope. That's right. Do I need to explain further? Any questions? Pringles cheese flavor. Look at that beautiful graphic right there. Hmm. I like the image. It's just, it's a potato chip just wrapped engulfed in cheese and this little tiny canister is a whopping 284 calories 
you know it's going to be cheesy, right? Let's unbox. Oh, yeah. Is it cheesy? That's the question. <laughs> mm. Well, so the question is, are they cheesy? Not that much. But it's a nice flavor. To me, it's more of a consomme soup with the mild cheese. They're really good. Oh, here we go. This is an interesting machine. It's got animation coffee. This might be good. Yeah, apparently this is a real popular series in Japan right now. I have no idea what it is, but it is the rage. Let's get one of these hot coffees with the character on it. Yep, I'm into it. it takes only coins, no IC card. So, yep, can do. Price is a dollar ten. Dollar ten can do. Yep. Which character? This one with the big eyes? They all have big eyes. Oh yeah, it's nice and hot. Is that her? Suddenly her eyes are not so big anymore. <laughs> and maybe that's a different character. Unfortunately, I don't have much of an interest in Japanese anime. Yeah, sorry about that, but it's a major thing here. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're partnering with a coffee company to, you know, put their characters on the coffee, so. Here we go, let's do this with a donut if I can find it. When you have coffee and donuts, which is first? Do you have a sip of the coffee first, do you have a donut? Or do you mix them? I think, yeah, the coffee first. Here it goes, this is the Dido Company. And that is a very standard Japanese coffee. A lot of cream, a lot of sugar, it's way too sweet. And that's all I'll be drinking. Unless I need more for uh, the donut. Hang on. Okay. Enter the donut. What does it say there? It's in English. It says rich. It says rich milk donut. Okay. How rich is it? Oh. It's definitely rich. It's sweet, it's delicious, but you know what? The coffee is even more sweeter, and that's what makes it awful. This standard Japanese canned coffee is, it's just not my thing. I like the just the black. You can get it in the black, but this is the standard. It's gonna have heavy cream, heavy sugar. I mean, this is, it says Cafe Olay, so I mean, that's what you're getting. We're on the hunt for some vending machines. Yep. Oh, here we go. The vending machine corner. Drinks, coffee, drinks. Any food? Uh, it's all drinks. Oh, here we go. Some snacks. Yeah, they got the yakisoba roll, spaghetti roll. That's horrible. Melon bun. Got some hot dogs with cheese on them, it looks like. There's curry pan, curry bread. Wait a minute, here we go. This is something. Is that right there? That looks pretty good. For 110. Deep fried bread. It's a donut. 
Number six, that one looks good. Gotta get that. How much is it, 110? Says it's a donut, but it feels more like just a, a roll with powdered sugar on it, huh? Oh, there's an egg sandwich. That looks pretty good. Let's try that. And the egg sandwich roll there, number 16 for 130. Nice and cool, refrigerated for sure. Yeah, that looks good. It's a coffee machine with a screen on it. So this is my barista, he's gonna... <laughs> Interesting. I don't really feel like having a coffee. What else do they have in here? Lots of different kinds of coffee. Tea, energy drink. Oh, miso soup. Shijimi, they got the little tiny clams in them for 70 yen. Let's try that. I don't think I've ever had miso soup from a vending machine. Okay. She's gonna cook it up. So there's a little game going on, I guess. If you get Atari, maybe you win something. I'm not sure how it works. How's it a loser? Six seconds. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at it swirling around in there. I like that. Better grab it before the door closes, huh? Does it close by itself? Yes, it does. <laughs> nice. Smells like clams, like the ocean. Oh, it's hot. Hot and creamy. It's actually not bad. Hmm. Definitely good for a cold day. Miso soup, fresh miso soup from a vending machine. That is really nice. Taste the clams. Better than I had expected. Mmm. That is tasty, really thick. You can see the miso in there. Super thick miso. That's really good for 70 cents. Definitely some cool looking machines, huh? Four different types of coffee beans. Ethiopia, Guatemala, Tanzania, Brazil. Nice, huh? Got corn potted soup in here too. There's the little clams right there, those tiny little guys. Mm -hmm. And lots of different types of coffee. Yep, Nesty sells a matcha latte. How about that? Huh? Yep, coffee beans. Ciao, ciao, ciao. So these machines are, yeah, I guess, support for this uh, warehouse here. Not a lot of security around here. Like, exactly zero security. You could pretty much just help yourself to anything. That's what you gotta love about Japan. You know, it's it's very secure. I mean, it's not secure at all, it's honest. Oh, oh, there's some more vending machines. Yeah. Is today our lucky day? We're looking for food ones. Probably all gonna be drinks. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we've got a gum vending machine. Look at this, a latte gum vending machine. This is rare. Look at that, huh? Blueberry gum, cool mint, green gum. This is the worst gum ever though. It's terrible chewing gum. But the machine is, wow, this is retro, man. Look at this thing. I think we gotta try it. Yep. Doesn't say how much it costs. That's a bad sign. I think it's out of order. It's 100 yen a pack. You can just barely read the sign. <laughs> Check out the green tea, no sugar. Look at that, it comes 
complete with waves. Yep, and these boats. Yeah, that's classic, huh? They've got the sweet bean soup. This company's interesting because it's been around for 60 years. I think this is the like the best one of all of them, right? For the red red bean, sweet beans. There it is. Sweet red bean soup. Less than a dollar. I can hardly wait to crack this thing open and have a sip. Got the goods, let's eat. I'm starving. So we'll start with the tamagopan or egg sandwich. It's a favorite in Japan. So this is really an egg roll, not a sandwich. That's what they call it, an egg roll. Good flavor. Mm -hmm. The egg is a bit on the sweet side. It's definitely got sugar in it. And we are going to wash that down with some Oshidoko. Yes, red sweet bean soup. Hot bean soup. Cheers. This is good stuff. And this is my favorite company that makes this stuff. This They've been around for 60 years. They know how to do it. so thick. Oh, it's like drinking a dessert. Mm. Oh my goodness. That is delicious. Full of flavor. It's thick. The beans are actually in it. We better save a little bit of this because we got one more bread item here. They're calling this a fried donut. This is what it looks like. I don't know. Looks more like a hamburger bun to me. Really? Is this a donut? I see the powdered sugar on it, but I'm not so sure I'd call this a donut. Let's have a bite, shall we? Going in for a bite. It's a dinner roll, that's all it is. It's a dinner roll that's got powdered sugar on the outside. So by far the best item of the three is this soup right here. Yes, this is incredible. Just arrived at a parking area. Let's see what kind of vending machines they have. Oh, this one plays music. It's a coffee making machine, uh-huh. Coca-Cola, these are everywhere. This is probably the number one vending machine in Japan, this type right here. Yeah, another drink vending machine. Let's, is there an inside? Oh, oh, there's an inside. Oh, no way. This is my favorite one, Nichide. This is the best machine. I haven't seen one of these in a while. It's been a long time. Definitely want to get some fried chicken and maybe some hot dogs. Yeah, not really feeling rice right now. I just had a bunch of sashimi. This is the spicy... What is that? Taiwan style fried rice. And then of course there's fried potatoes here and chicken McNuggets there. Octopus balls there. These two. These are the best. The hamburger. Eh, eh. It does come with a chicken nugget though. This. This chicken. It's on level with KFC. At least it was last time I had it. I don't know. We'll, tr we'll try. These two. Speaking of vending machines, I'm using my change purse that I got from my vending machine. Hey, you guys seen enough of this change purse yet? <laughs> Never gets old. 370 yen. It's about $3.50. We go fried chicken and it comes with some uh, french fries too. Takes 127 seconds. Now we wait. Should we buy coffee? This, this machine plays really cool music. Let's get some coffee. So many choices. I'm gonna have a matcha latte, that's what I want. Matcha latte, or matcha chocolate, or matcha white. That's white mocha, not matcha. Matcha latte, 200 yen. Shintojo. Throw it into the hopper. Look at that, huh? Okay. Oh, and then you can decide if you want it black with sugar, 
7 grams of sugar, 11 grams of sugar with cream, with cream and sugar, with sugar and cream. <laughs> oh, 7 grams of cream and sugar or 11 grams of cream and sugar? I'm so confused. There's a barista inside of there. Look at that. Oh, this is live, a live camera inside the machine. This is actually what's going on inside the machine. Very cool. What is it doing right now? It's, is it, it's still grinding it? It's hard to tell. Oh, here we are, here we are, here we are. I should just put the lid on it. So here it comes. It's going to be delivered. Yep. Let's come down here. That is a nice machine. Yep. It's called Grind Coffee on a Mill. That's the name of the vending machine. So he's ready. There it is. Chicken and potatoes. Cutest hot dogs on the planet right here, trust me. And the hot dogs only take 67 seconds. We get some onion soup too, since we've still got another 40 seconds. Yeah, why not? Dollar 30. Do we have enough money? That is the question. Yes. Hot soup, hot can soup from a vending machine. Onion, oh, this is the first onion soup. Hot dog, get two of them in here. We'll do the chicken first. It's definitely piping hot, I tell you that. Yep, look at that gorgeous chicken. Beautiful glistening chicken. And even the fries look pretty good, huh? Let's go for a fry first, a couple of fries. <laughs> so hot, crazy hot. Does it come with chopsticks? Yes, it does. Comes with chopsticks. Look at these cute little chopsticks. Mini choppers. All right, let's go in for a bite of this juicy chicken. Look at that, you can see the herbs right there. Look at that, huh? It's coated with herbs and spices. Is it as good as the kernels? I'll let you know. Mmm. It's like peppered herb chicken. It's pretty good, the skin is just delicious. It's chicken breast inside, so it's light meat. No kidding, man. This is on par with Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's that close. It's that good. Piping hot. It's got at least 16 herbs and spices. I don't know how many, but there's a lot of herbs and spices. This is banging. The potatoes are a bit on the gummy side. I'm sad to report. They're fresh. They came out of a vending machine. They're just a little bit gummy. There's no crispiness to them. But they have flavor. Almost like a bit buttery. They're not salty, but maybe buttery. Overall, I'm impressed. It's good stuff. And the chicken, oh my. First time for the onion soup. This is a first. Look at that. Onion soup. It says koku, so it's going to be strong. Really. It's going to be watery. It smells like minestrone soup. Wow, what a great aroma. Oh, and there's real onions in it. It's what the Japanese called zubu zubu. Mm. 
It's packed with onions. Wow. It really is koku. This is one of the best hot soups I've ever had from a vending machine. No kidding. It's just, it's probably half of it is diced onions, right? Diced stewed onions. Could use a little bit of pepper. They're sweet onions is what they are. Mm -hmm. Okay, going in for the hot dogs. Ready, Let's see what they look like. It's been a long time since I've had these. At least a week. <laughs> there they are. Aren't these the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look at how beautiful these are. Wow. If I was a four or five year old, I would be loving this. And you know what? I'm still gonna be loving this. Yep. Oh. Tell you what, it's bakery level. This is good. Let me give you a close up at the inside. Look at that. Look at all that ketchup and mustard in there. It's got the spicy mustard. Oh, look at all that mustard they give you. Wow. They've upped their game with these hot dogs. Oh. Banging. It's definitely banging. It's up there. So we try the coffee? Yes, we shall. Oh, look at that. Look at the color. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a matcha latte. I'm not sure if I've ever had a matcha latte. It's just fun to say matcha latte. Uh, 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 it's like a bowl full of sugar. Okay, I'm done with the latte. I should have touched one of those buttons on top that just said black. And then I would've got a black lot, a black, a black matcha? Is there such a thing? Anyway. So there it was, guys. Another one of these vending machine compilation videos. This one took me a long time to make. I haven't had really good luck lately finding vending machines, so I've been having to go all over the place to find them. But anyway, I hope uh, it was a good collection of stuff. I try to get as many varieties of different stuff and not eat the same things. And it had been a while since I've tried that Nichide machine, the one that was just right here with the uh, fried chicken and the uh, hot dogs. So it's a, it's a treat to try that machine. So sometimes I will do a, a repeat kind of item if it's been a long time since I've done it. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, did I forget to rate the meal? I'm going to give it a six. I'm going to go six out of six full six on this one. So that means I'm doing a giveaway, you guys. It's a uh, num 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 giveaway where I give away three of my get some snack packs. I'll put a link right up here to the get some snack pack. You can check it out and watch somebody unbox one of them. And good luck. Uh, the only thing you need to do is put a comment down below and I will announce three winners in the very next Eric meal time. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.